Hi all, in this lecture we will talk about CCA 175 real time exam scenario 9. Let's see the data description. All the product records are stored at user spark dataset retail db products underscore evro. Data is in evro format and data is compressed with snappy compression. Output requirement says that output should contain only columns product underscore id and product underscore price. Save output as a JSON file. Place the result in HDFS directory and use no compression. So, in order to solve this problem statement, we should, we should know how to load Evro packages in Spark Shell. Now, in CCA 175 examination, Spark Shell is already enabled with Evro packages. So, let's go to the lab and see. So in my Spark shell, I can load Evro packages using hyphen hyphen packages. So this will load all the required dependencies. Now Spark shell is started. Let's clear the screen first. So to read the data, I'm going to say, well, prod is equal to spark.read.format. And because we want to load Evro data, we have to provide Evro here dot load. Now here we have to provide the HDFS path. Let's see. Now we are done. Let's see some of the data. So I'm going to say prod dot show and give me five records. This is my products data. So the output requirement says that we are only interested in product price and product ID and we have to save this data in HDFS in JSON format. So I am only interested in product ID and product price. So I am going to say prod dot select product ID and product underscore price. Let's see some of the data result dot show and give me five records. So we have to save this data in HDFS in JSON format with no compression. So I'm going to say result dot write dot option. Inside option, I'll say compression none and dot JSON. And let's specify the path here. So my path will be and we are done. So let's quickly go to HDFS and verify the data, validate the data. So I'm going to go to different console now. I'm going to say HDFS, DFS, hyphen LS providing the path that we have. Okay, so we can see a JSON file here. Now let's see some of the data. For that, I'll be saying HDFS, DFS, hyphen tail, and let's provide the JSON file path. This is my data. Every line is a JSON record, and every JSON record contains product ID and product price. So we are done. So in this lecture, we have learned how to start Spark shell and how to load Evro packages. Then, we have learned how to read Evro data as a data frame used in Spark and then we are able to save the data into HDFS in JSON format with no compression. Thank you.